In part two of this lesson, we'll be covering two more examples on hybridization and bond scheme. Question number one reads, write a hybridization and bonding scheme for acetyl aldehyde, and its chemical structure looks like this. The first thing that I want to do, just like what we did in part one, is create the Lewis structure for this. So I will rewrite this as C bonded to three hydrogens. That's bonded to another carbon, and that's double bonded to an oxygen and one hydrogen. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven times two electrons already used up, that's 14. The valence electrons for hydrogen are three, four, four for carbon, that makes eight, 12, and six for oxygen, that's 18. So I'll take away 14 from 18 to give us four more, and these will serve as the electrons for the peripheral atoms. In our case, we need to put those right here. So that right there is the Lewis structure for this molecule. We have two central atoms here, this carbon and this carbon. So we need to find out the hybridization scheme for both. Starting with this one, the total number of bonding groups are one, two, three, four, no lone pairs here. If you have four single bonds and no lone pairs, that's a total number of four electron groups, four plus zero. This means we have a tetrahedral and the hybridization scheme for that carbon is sp3. So I'll write that down. For this central atom, that carbon, the total number of bonding groups are one, two, and three. It has no lone pairs. Therefore, this has a hybridization scheme of sp2. I'll write that down, sp2. So the first requirement of this question is done. We found out the hybridization. Now we need to find the bonding scheme. And to do that, I will need to find out the types of bonds that occur here, 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 and everywhere else. Now since the orbital of this atom and the orbital of carbon are facing directly towards each other, this will be a sigma bond, same thing here and same thing here. That's the symbol for sigma, the Greek letter. And the same applies to this carbon and this carbon. They're both oriented directly towards each other. So we have a sigma bond here. What's interesting about this part of the molecule is that there's also a sigma bond here, but between this carbon and this oxygen, you have one sigma bond, so one electron from carbon and one electron from oxygen facing directly towards each other, and you also have a pi bond, where the orbital containing the other electron around the carbon and the orbital containing the other electron around the oxygen are parallel to one another, hence forming a pi bond. So we have a sigma bond, and a pi bond. To give you a better visual of what's happening, take a look at this illustration. Notice that these electrons being shared are found in orbitals oriented directly towards each other, therefore we have a sigma bond here, and the other electron being shared with oxygen, they were found in orbitals that are parallel to one another, and so that is referred to as a pi bond. For question two we're asked, Write a hybridization and bonding scheme for HCN. HCN is the chemical formula for hydrogen cyanide, and it has a Lewis structure that looks like this. H, C, and N. We have one, two, three, four, five valence electrons for these two atoms, and five for nitrogen. That's 10 altogether. We've already used up four, so we have six more to work with, and those will be distributed here, one, two, three, four, five, six. Of course, this does not have a complete octet, so we can move these electrons to be shared with C and N, giving us H, C triple bonded to N, and we still have that orbital right there with those two electrons. So that's the Lewis structure, and if I wanna find out the total number of electron groups we need to find out the bonding groups. We have one, two bonding groups for this carbon, no lone pairs, therefore we have a linear SP hybridization scheme for that central atom. Now to find the bonding scheme, in other words, where do we have sigma and pi bonds? There's a sigma bond between this hydrogen and this carbon. There's also one sigma bond between this carbon and this nitrogen, so there's a sigma bond here, 
and the other four electrons that are being shared are pi bonds. Take a look. Here we have the sp hybrid orbital, one here and one here, as shown. The orbital here and the orbital here are facing directly towards each other, forming a strong sigma bond. And we also have these pi bonds being formed with the adjacent atoms. And of course, pi bonds are technically weaker than sigma bonds. And there you have it. Two more examples on how to find the hybridization and bonding scheme of molecules.